Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 660, and I've been playing with the Nokia N900. <music> Apparently, I left out an important detail when I've been talking about the N900 in anticipation of its arrival, because Neil, my husband, who is with me all the time, didn't know that the N900 is able to make phone calls. Go figure. Let's start by looking at the industrial design. I have an iPhone 3GS here along with a Motorola Droid and the Nokia N900. The iPhone and Droid are almost exactly the same height and width. The Droid is a little thicker than the iPhone to accommodate the slider keyboard and removable battery. The Nokia N900 is the same width as the iPhone and Droid, but a little thicker. I thought it'd be fun to pull out the kitchen scale and weigh them. The iPhone is 4.7 ounces. The Droid is 5.9 ounces. The Nokia N900 is 6.4 ounces. Specs we've talked about, but let's hit them again. The processor is 600 megahertz. There's one gigabyte of application memory. It has a 3D graphics accelerator with OpenGL ES 2.0 support. It has 32 gigs of storage out of the box, and you can expand that up to 48 gigs with a micro SD card. The camera is 5 megapixels with a dual LED flash. The screen is 800 by 480, three and a half inches diagonal, and has resistive touch. The N900 has two hard features that I hadn't expected. It has a built-in FM transmitter for playing audio through your radio speakers. I had to put the phone on top of the receiver for the FM transmitter to work, but sitting on top of the receiver, it sounded really, really good. It also has what I think could be a killer feature if developers take advantage of it. It has an IR transmitter. Software is really where the N900 can shine. It runs Nokia's MAME 05, an open source version of Linux, and it does really feel like I'm using a computer rather than just another smartphone. To turn on the screen, just press the power button at the top and like other smartphones, slide to unlock. The N900 gives you four work surfaces. You can add applications, widgets, and bookmarks from the web. And there are several basic apps already installed and you can add more. There aren't yet tons of apps available, but the framework for making apps available is so much better than Apple's gatekeeper method. There will be an OV store for the N900, but if you go there right now, you get a coming soon page. In addition to the OV store, you can add different software repositories where you can download Memo apps for free. Because the N900 is running Linux, developers can develop whatever applications the hardware can handle. And that's one of the reasons I think the IR transmitter is so cool. It's inevitable that someone will develop a really good universal remote. The web browser is very good. It's a Mozilla-based browser, and I wasn't able to find a website it doesn't display exactly as it should, including websites developed in Flash. You can also install a beta version of a Firefox-branded browser. The Firefox browser froze for me, but the potential is exciting. I really like the Nokia N900, but it's important for me to point out, even though you can order one now, it seems to be first targeting hardcore geeks, extreme early adopters, and most specifically, developers who want a mobile device that they can customize as much as they want. The device has hardware as a playground with a lot of potential for exciting functionality, should the right developer take up the cause. For example, the IR transmitter is built in, but it needs software applications that aren't yet available in order for it to fulfill its potential. The N900 has an accelerometer, but very few applications flip into portrait. And that's something I hear will change by year's end. Geek Brief TV bridges the gap between hardcore geeks and grandmas who are casually interested in tech. A less technical person would probably enjoy the N900. It's by far the simplest and fun user interface I've ever seen on a Nokia phone. It isn't as simple as an iPhone and maybe only slightly more challenging than a Motorola Droid. I think, though, the more you understand and enjoy Linux, the more you'll enjoy all you can do with an N900. My big hope is that Linux developers embrace it and build exciting new applications. Brief 660 was brought to you by Angie'sList.com slash geek. The studio's freshly painted, so we can start doing live production again. And we found a great painter who gave us a great price using Angie's List. If you're not a member and you own a home, check it out. Promo code geek will save you 25% when you join. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. <laughs> this is the Nokia N900's day droid. Calm down. I really like the Nokia N900, but it's important for me to point out if... Droid! <laughs> <laughs>